Good morning, dear colleagues. Thank you for visiting our section. And now I would like to tell you about the germ cell um, tumor of the testes and uh, the application of TMEA. Uh, and uh, this is the illness that is uh, more and more developing in the developed countries. And if you have an efficient diagnosis, then the treatment is more efficient as well. So the goal of our research was to study the TMA creation for the evaluation of um, the histochemicals, markers, and the different types of um, them. So the material for this research was 87 cases of um, this uh, testis tumor in our um, uh, oncological institute named after Petrov. Histological um, microslides were colored with the GE and uh, they were scanned with the panoramic flash third and uh, also TMA were developed and from the recipients blocks we had microslides developed colored with uh, these uh, chemical markers when doing the research of the materials we used the recommendation of Australian Seminoma Study Society and uh, we also stated different types of tumor markers and medical uh, history and also the data about uh, the treatment, previous treatment. Uh, so we considered the scale and the size of the testes and we um, uh, take the uh, parameters of the funicle and uh, also we calculate the size of the tumor in two dimensions and also we calculate the necrosis and the length of the tumor and also uh, we take the size of appendix and uh, we have the histological type, uh, we have uh, the um, uh, size of uh, the tumor in different sections and also uh, the uh, tissue which is uh, in place there and also the bleeding and necrosis in these tissues and also within in aplasia we state the type and the length of the tumor as a result the average age was uh, 32 uh, and seminoma was in uh, present in uh, 52 cases and the embryonal uh, cancer in 14 uh, percentage and also um, the carcinoma sol4 the transcription factor so it is positively expressed in the coloring of the nucleus and it is uh, uh, present in all germ cell tumors uh, here we can uh, see the positive reaction in the um, seminoma and also in the sperma cancer and uh, expression of antibody is also in place here and it can be used to differentiate uh, different types of germ cell uh, tumors and their difference uh, from other types of uh, this disease oct 34 this is a transcription uh, fact um, and it is expressed in the coloring of the nucleus and with a high expression rate it is a plasma coloring and it is an embryonal and seminoma cancer and also intratubular seminoma and all the other germ cell tumors are negative um, for this uh, factor and marker and uh, the sensitivity is almost uh, 100 percent uh, plap is uh, um, expressed in the uh, coloring and in seminoma and embry embryonal cancer and myoplasia 
and as for this antibody other types do not have any specific coloring they're sensitive for seminoma is 79 percent specificity is very high 93.5 percent so different types different levels of expressions uh, uh, almost disappearing ones at the last picture as you can see here podiplanin this is the most interesting marker for studying seminomas because with positive expression it is observed the membrane coloring only of the cells in seminoma and intratubular um, in plasia. In all the other germ cell tumors, it can be uh, expressed in uh, lymphatic vessels. In our work, uh, specificity and sensitivity amounted to 100%. So it was a very intensive and bright coloring. Uh, CD117, CKET, this is very sensitive for seminoma. It colors only the cells in seminoma and neoplasia in situ. And according to the data in literature, we can have uh, other types of tumors with positive coloring. But we have not observed that with our work. And sensitivity is almost 100% and specificity 99%. CD. Uh, 30. This is a specific marker for embryonal cancer. This is a membrane coloring. As for literature data, it should be expressed uh, quite colorfully, but uh, uh, depending on the selection of the clone, we can even see the negative CD30 for embryonal cancer. Sensitivity is almost uh, 100%. GPC3. It uh, has membrane coloring of the carcinoma and also uh, the uh, coloring of uh, specific cells in carcinoma. And uh, we can have uh, specific positive uh, cells, but it should be uh, confirmed by the coloring at uh, IHC. And uh, we can have uh, uh, different types of tumor reacting positively to this marker. IHC, characteristic of seminoma. Seminomas are always uh, positive for uh, SOL4. Uh, and podoplanin cd30 and with variability coloring for plup and uh, negative for cd30 uh, embryonal cancer is always positive uh, for cd34 th and uh, negative for podoplanin cd30 and positive coloring for plup uh, chorea carcinoma were colored only in one case, but also in SOL4. And uh, here we can see the coloring for SOL4. And this is a uh, mimicrating uh, tumor, and it can be combined with seminoma, with embryonal cancer, and it is very uh, important that any uh, um, uh, germ cell tumors, OC34, should be used in all cases because it helps us to differentiate it from other types. And uh, as for I. HC characteristic of Sinoma in situ, uh, the positive uh, result and the negative results are shown here. And we should not forget that uh, in situ should be specified in hematoxylin. And when we uh, make the diagnosis, we should do the coloring and the uh, conclusions. So, 4 is a highly sensitive marker for germ cell tumors, sensitive ARC34 for seminomas and embryonal cancer is almost 100%, 90%. Um, sensitivity of plaque for seminomas, 9, 79. This is a very highly specific marker uh, and uh, the most specific and sensitive markers for this is D240 and CD117 and also CD30 is a very sensitive one for embryonal cancer if we choose the necessary antibody and uh, clone. So the use of TMA for diagnostics of germ cell 
tumors can be comparable with the micro slides in terms of if efficiency and only two percent of the lost matrices i would like to express my gratitude uh, to my scientific advisors uh, for, for for everything, uh, for performing and for preparing all the mattresses, and thank you for your attention. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, are there any questions, please? So what about the history? Histological heterogeneity, IHC. What is the situation? Histological uh, tumors are heterogenic, so very often um, the diagnosis is not uh, right, uh, especially in some cases, in some mixed uh, tumors, for example. And so when we gathered materials, we took about three to five uh, parts, and uh, they are very diverse ones, and so some combinations can be seen in such a material. So 30%, that is the answer to the question, but the microphone is not used. In 30% of cases, we have seen that. Yes, in mixed type, but um, mainly we had seminomas, but uh, mixed uh, types were also there in 30% of the cases. And the second aspect, But the microphone is not used, so the interpreter cannot hear what he is saying. Certainly, we face some difficulties in this regard because we select only one block, but the tumor can consist of uh, different uh, types of uh, seminoma and uh, other types, and that is a huge difficulty. So we tried to select one uh, block, but where we had all the types of tumor uh, tumors, that's why we have all the macros samples for histological research in different types of sections. That is how we work with it. Uh, and uh, we can, for example, face a gloss uh, and uh, different types, in situ and invasive uh, uh, tumors. So you compare the multi-block. So uh, the right approach is to consider the maximum amount of it in histosmin. Yes, uh, the most important important task is to find out and to select uh, uh, the necessary parts and sections. Yeah, that is the art of a doctor.